This is from last year. It's thought by TDOR by Monica Roberts, who describes herself as a proud, unapologetic black trans woman speaking truth to power. This observance of the Transgender Day of Remembrance has some el elements of it that are depressingly familiar. Once again, we are reading off a list of names of the people who were taken from us due to anti-trans violence that is overwhelmingly black and Latinx. We light candles in their memory. Once again, many of the people we lost are under 40. When we know how they died, we are aware of the fact that many of them experienced horrific violence in their last moments on the planet. And we sadly note that Brazil led the pack in terms of being the most violent nation for trans people. What's different is that we went from an administration that was unapologetically on our side in fighting for justice for trans people to an unjust one hell-bent on oppressing us. But what these misguided people and trans folks fail to understand is that when you are a people who have to fight tooth and nail just to exist, we're going to fight oppression aimed at us even more tenaciously because it is literally a life, a literally a life or death situation for us. In that stark scenario, with those kind of stakes for the trans community, we have no other option but to prevail no matter what kind of challenges are presented to us. And far from eviscerating us from everyday life and force us back into a closeted existence as our opposition is trying to do, we are becoming even more visible and more of an integral part of it from media to politics. We will also have, when 2018 dawns, trans folks repping their const constituents and out of the community in the Virginia House of Delegates and the Minneapolis City Council. So yes, while we trans people, our families, friends, allies in this day, think about the over 275 people around the world we lost to anti-trans violence. TDAOR is a day more so for those of us who mourn them. Once we leave the various venues holding the memorial services around the world, we steal ourselves from the challenging at times task of fighting for the humanity and human rights of the people who, to borrow the words of Miss Major, are still effing here. <laughs> the best way we can honor those we lost is to fix society to the point that we make the TDOR obsolete. We aren't there yet. We may not get there in my, life, in my remaining lifetime on this planet. But we still have to keep fighting to reduce the number of anti-trans murders in the U.S. and around the world and ensure that the perpetrators of them do hard time when they are caught. How fast will that day happen? Good question. But I can guarantee that it won't happen fast enough to keep me from writing another TDOR post 365 days from now.